Hey everybody, this is Dead Winter Dead with a channel update for you. A little bit of Skyrim in the background to kick things off and watch this ghostly nutshot. Oh, right in the apple sack. He's going to feel that in the morning. I thought that was kind of funny to kick things off. Alright, let's get on with this channel update. So it looks like 2014 is going to be a pretty interesting year for games. I've been a gamer for a long time, as long as I can remember being able to do WASD or playing on the original Atari platform and uh, had a uh, Nintendo for a while, you know, the old light gray Nintendo playing Ghosts and Goblins and stuff like that. Been playing games for years and years and years. Some of my, uh, my oldest the oldest memories, my fondest memories of playing games was uh, 1983's Forbidden Forest, which was a 2D kind of a fantasy scroller on the Commodore 64. Also put tons of time into Wasteland, the original Wasteland game, which was like the precursor to all of the Fallout video games. Uh, you know, Fallout 3 is huge. I think Fallout 4 is in development. This was the game that started it all. <clears throat> They're also uh, they just released a Wasteland 2, which was a which was a crowdfunded project, and it's turning out pretty well, pretty well. It's kind of a niche game, but still fun. All right, but what I want to focus on here is some of the games that I'm looking forward to in 2014. Now I may or may not showcase these games regularly on the channel. Uh, I'll definitely probably do reviews on all of them once they come out, once we get a little further into the year. But uh, don't worry guys, my channel will always be Battlefield centric, battle, Battlefield focused, but I, I do, I love playing games, and I love sharing my gaming experiences with, uh, with the community, with you guys. So let's take a look at this list. First up, we have Bethesda's The Evil Within, releasing August 26th. Survival horror game, looks like it's going to be a lot of fun, looks like it's going to be more uh, kind of blood and gore scary than actually jump and grab scary. Single player, a lot of the stuff that I've seen looks pretty promising, but we'll see how that one goes. Next, releasing May 2014, which is just a couple of days away, we've got Wolfenstein The New Order. This one could go either way. I've seen footage of it that looks promising, I've seen other footage of it that looks like it's just going to be another shooter on rails, but I'm definitely going to pick it up, definitely going to try it out, try to get you guys some footage of that when it comes out. Looking a little bit further down the road, we have Alien Isolation releasing October 7th, 2014. Now, I'm a huge fan of the Alien movie franchise. I love all the Alien movies. Um, some of them are obviously better than others. I'm looking at you, Aliens. Um, but this could go... This I think this is going to be a winner. I know that Alien, uh, Aliens Colonial Marines was just a frigging train wreck, and you know why would we want to play a game with the Aliens logo on, on it again? This is completely different. First person horror survival looks very, very promising. I've been watching it for a little while and it just recently kind of poked its head out at, at a lot of the recent trade shows and kind of showed what we had in store. Um, so it looks like that's going to be a good title. I'm really looking forward to that. Definitely get you, going to get you guys some footage of that as soon, soon as I can. Um, another one, controversial one, sort of. In 2014, we have Dying Light, made by the same people who are famous for the Dead Island series. In fact, so much so, uh, it's been given criticism that Dying Light looks almost identical to Dead Island. Same engine, pretty much, even down to some of the zombie models are almost identical from those games. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, Dead Island, those were good games. Dead Island, Dead Island, Riptide, good games, fun games. Got repetitive after a while, but still, very fun, very exciting. I am looking forward to Dying Light, but I'm not expecting it to be groundbreaking. Last but not least, we have Watch Dogs, releasing on May 27th, 2014. I have already pre-ordered this. I'm very excited for Watch Dogs. I've been watching its development for over a year now. Um, I have a couple of buddies who are actually uh, some industry insiders, and I've, I've, I've seen some stuff, and it's, it, it, it looks really promising. I know they went through that whole thing where they canceled it, and then when they re-released the, uh, you know, the the release date you know the graphics were downgraded or whatever but that's kind of been squashed it's just a ps4 compared to ultra high pc things so don't worry about that so there you go that's what we're looking at in the future don't worry guys this is still a battlefield channel plenty of battlefield stuff to come my name's dead winter dead thanks for watching